Hello everyone, it's Dirk 24 here, and today it is very early in the morning, and I'm usually not awake, but I woke up at like 7, and just couldn't go back to sleep. And then I just watched a couple of videos, and now I'm doing this. Just showing off my Briar Tax sets. Dog, don't you dare. This dog is a pain in the boo him. You look cute. Anyway. I still have sleep. Anyway, so. Just start. So this one I made a while back. But I never got around to showing it to you guys. But it is the. I don't even know if this is like. This isn't even probably a real tax set, like, from real life. It's, I just made it up. I was just like, oh, it'd be cute to have a horse wear a Canadian flag because this horse is supposed to be a Canadian horse. And, and all, I don't know what his name is, though. I don't even know if he has a name. He might just be representing the RCMP music. Musical ride. So yeah, but then there's on the back of this little thing, there's the other language on the back. So I don't know. A lot of people in Canada speak French. I think. Anyway, so his little tax set. He's got these little boots here. These little red and white boots. He's got this chest plate, but the there should be a white ribbon here, but it f fell off after it got wet. And hot glue came off. So, yeah. And then this is just red fabric that I had to paint white because I didn't have any white fabric. So it kind of looks silly, but I mean, it's okay. There was a tail strap that went around his tail, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. Um, it's pretty much the same over here. Chest plate just hooks onto the little things there, and then the girth just hooks to there. And then his bridle is kind of complicated. I mean, not really. It's it's supposed to be equivalent to a real bridle. So there's a buckle on the side and a buckle for the throat latch. The nose brand doesn't have a buckle though. But it's got the little things that go tied to the girth. But I hate bits, so I'm not supporting bits in any way. But this is, I tried to make it as, like the bridle, as realistic as possible, even though I don't like bits. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much that tax set. We have one person here who has not uh, said anything, but is still here. So that's pretty much that tax set. I guess it's not too exciting. It was like one of my first ones that I made, so it's exciting for me because I didn't like think it would turn out that good. Because to me it looks good, but to anyone else it probably doesn't look good at all. Next is one that I did not too long ago, like maybe a month ago, and I did a pretty decent job with it, if you ask me. And this is my Spanish costume. I forget what it's called, like the sport is called. But this, I'm going to be showing this at Briarfest. This is my costume contest horse. And yeah, I might put this taxa on another horse. I don't know. I might, I might not. Probably not, because I literally had to glue the bridle to his head, because his fur, or his mane is in the way. So I probably wouldn't even be able to if I wanted to. So yeah. I also glued it to the sides of his face, kind of by accident, but it's not, it's not going to hurt him. It's just hot glue, so it shouldn't mess with him too much. Besides, his horse isn't really that, like... A rare or anything so if it does put a little splotch on him or something that's okay 
The bit was really messed up. The bit is supposed to be facing this direction. Like so. But it's not. Instead, it's super messed up. But I don't think at the show they really care about stuff like that. They just care about how it looks. But, um... It's got the double reins on them. And it's got the golden bridle. It's even got the little tassels in the front. And the little chest plate thing that needs to be wider. I think I'm going to do a different chest plate. Well, then again, I've looked at it. I just need to put, like, a little golden thing on the front here. Like, there's the jump ring. There shouldn't be empty. Like, there should be a gold thing in the middle. So, I'm going to do that. Probably. Moving down to the saddle. I don't even know if this is what the saddle looks like, but I tried my best to look it up and see what it looks like, and this is what I could find on the internet. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure the stirrups are supposed to be underneath the saddle flaps, but this saddle is just a piece of leather that I just glued this to the back of it, and I glued these to the um, sides, and I glued these to the sides. The girth is okay. It's not the best. I added some paint to kind of make it look like it's been used, you know, but I mean... It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. I think the girth placement is pretty good. Like, it probably should be a little farther up here, but oh well. It won't go any further. <laughs> I mean, it will, but it looks stupid when it's like that. Um, the little saddle pad is just some red felt, again, with some yellow uh, around it. And then this is this little tail thingy, which I don't really like. I think I'm going to take it off and do it the same style I did this. So I think that's supposed to, like that's how it's supposed to look, but I just don't. I couldn't get really the best of photos on this thing because I don't even use it that often. Let me just search the writing stuff. So it's called like the... And the... Sorry, my nose is running. I don't know why. Spanish writing school. Can I just see images? Someone just joined and left. They're like, we're just looking at a black screen. Oh, nope. Someone's back. I don't know who it is, but someone is. And they left again. See, I could not get, like, good photos for the life of me. Like, this is the best that I could get. Like, if you can zoom in all the way. Like, see, there's the little thing on the chest plate that I need to do. I added the little tassels to the bridle because I saw that somewhere. And it looks better that way. It's not identical to these, of course, because I just can't make it identical. But I tried my best, and I guess it looks okay. It's the same saddle pad, the same bridle, the same chest plate. I would say it's the same saddle. Like, look, see the, um, the stirrups come from underneath the saddle, I'm pretty sure. But, like, I could not any, get any good photos. Like, I couldn't get just a photo of a horse just by itself with a saddle. Like, it's impossible. <laughs> and some of them that I did, like, they were wearing a different tag set than the one that I was going for. 
there's like no good photos really. I was looking at this one when I was making it, but again it's so pixelated you can barely see it. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't really get very many good photos, but for my lack of being able to get photos, I think I did a pretty good job. But anyway, those are my other two tax sets. I have some others. I also have other stuff besides, like, um, tax sets. And I'm thinking of doing a bunch of these, but with different countries. Like, maybe Italy or France or whatever and doing a giveaway. And maybe giving them away. Although I'm new to giveaways and I know YouTube is very strict about giveaways. So I'm going to have to check up on everything before I will but yeah before when I made that giveaway video I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know how to and I didn't know that YouTube was very strict about it so that's why it never happened but um now I know a little bit more about it so um maybe I'll have a, a giveaway playing with the stirrup is so satisfying Turn this this way. Bend it a little bit so it looks like I don't know, whatever. Anyway, move these guys out of the way. But yeah, I'm thinking of doing something like that where I make a bunch of country costumes and giving them away. Ow. I have lots of other homemade stuff. Like this little stable here is homemade. Both of them are. Her little homemade blanket. I don't feel like I'm doing because it's a pain. A little stall guard. Well, her whole stall is homemade and little bars in the windows and stuff. And then I have two homemade halters here. I kind of want to put hers on her because it looks cute when it's on her. So let me do that. It's really kind of a pain to put on. I'll show you how you put it on in a second. <laughs> My stomach's making a bunch of noise. I'm so hungry. I don't know why. We ordered Domino's pizza last night and we ordered the flat, uh, flat, what is it called? Like, I don't know. It's like the pizza that's like super thin. Is it like flat bread. I don't even want to say that because it sounds so stupid and I bet that's not what it is, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. And I ate like half a pizza along with like five bread stick things, so I don't know why I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything today, though. Sorry about my mom's TV. <laughs> Or someone's TV. I don't know who it is. I'm itchy. I don't know why. I can't get this halter on this horse. Got it, finally. Let me just tighten it a little bit. A little bit. By the way, guys, I got a new editor. I'll show it to you when I'm done with this. I just don't know how to use it. Uh, I need to play around with it. I was playing around with it a while back. But, yeah. Okay, so here is this uh, halter here. It's pretty cute. I like it. It's one of my favorites. But the buckle, it has two jump rings, and you just, like, slip it through them and then back through the one, if you know what I mean. My camera doesn't want to focus, though. But, 
like see you bring it through both and then you bring it over and just slide it down through the one and it will stay so it's got both the little jump rings underneath the, her chin and yeah it's basically a standard holster Q's over here is a little different. His, he's not wearing his, but his is, um, his is pretty much the same, except it's got a, um, oh my gosh, okay. Swear. I can bend it so you can see it. Here's the nose band, here's his throat latch, but it just clips on to they're like a real halter and it's just missing the extra jump ring under here but other than that it's the same he's even got his little name plate which is not made of gold it's actually just paper painted or colored in with a metallic sharpie <laughs> but yeah that just hooks onto there <laughs> ow my elbow i just love it when you bang your elbow where you lean it up against something or whatever and you hit a nerve who just joined? Tara Walters. Hello. Alright, so I also have... So, oops, I almost knocked over my Canadian horse. Um, I also have some random stuff, like this homemade saddle pad. Um, which actually I want to take her tack off and put it on her and put her in her stall. Because I don't like that, but... Over here is the tack room of this barn, and I hear, here's all my stuff. So some of it is briar made, like that stuff over there is briar made, that's briar made, briar, ear bonnets, that is a homemade running martingale. So that is homemade though, but over there is all halters and leads and stuff that I've made, which is kind of ridiculous. I kind of want to pull them out and sort some of them because some of them I don't need. And I like to give stuff to my friend who also collects briars but doesn't have much as far as her briars go. So I always give her my stuff because I have too much stuff. So I will keep this. Keep this. This. These. Oh, here's Magnolia's lead rope. Just wondering where it went. She's got this fancy braided or knotted lead rope because really I just made knots and that's how I made it. But you just put it on there. Q doesn't have a lead rope. I have this also, another fancy braided one. This one's braided. That one's just made with knots. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, it's a ginormous halter for Phoenix. I forgot I made that. I can give that to her because she has a draft horse. Um, I guess Q's lead rope can be blue. Why not? It matches his stuff. Kind of, so I'll just put that on there. And she can have that too because I don't plan on using that. I can keep this, I suppose. And this. Oh, this is where this halter went, but it's broken, so I might as well just throw half of this stuff out. And then my friend made me this cute little rubber band halter. I can never remember how it goes. I think. Um, this is the nose band, but like one of these three is the throat latch, the no or the brow band, and the part that goes behind the ears, and I can't figure out which one's which. But let me put all this stuff back in here now. But yeah, I've made half of these halters, like this is one that I first made. It's okay. It's supposed to be a Christmas one, that's why it's green and red. This lead rope in here. We have two halters that are the same color. Yeah, 
get off of there. Yeah. I wonder if this would fit my other horse that I need. He needs a halter. <laughs> sorry, this video just turned into me sorting my stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I need to sort my stuffs every once in a while because it gets out of hand if I don't. Let me see if this halter fits this horse. Which it probably doesn't. I mean, it fits him, but it just looks really stupid on him. So I'm not going to put it on him because it looks dumb. I guess he's just going to go without a halter, I suppose. Let's see if I can throw a halter into the little bin over there. Oh, I did it. All right, so I'm going to actually swap the camera onto me. Hello. I'm gonna get this horse and I'm gonna put the tack that's on Sailor, who is this horse. So Ashley, you're gonna have to get off and just sit on her, I guess. Too much junk everywhere. my mom's phone um anyway so let's take her tack off even though it looks cute on you this all this tack that she's wearing is briar made other than her saddle pad i did make her saddle pad i made it on live stream too it only took me like five minutes to make it wasn't that difficult Alright, so Sailor, you're gonna go in your stall now. Also, the saddle pad is reversible, but the other side of it is really not that cool. I like the anchors better. So, I'm just going to put the bridle on. Wait, how does this go? Oh, it's twisted, okay. This goes over your head, over your face, of course. A horse is a horse, of course. For the pain. Hope y'all enjoyed that Briar Barn tour I just uploaded. If you haven't watched it, you better go watch it because that was a pain to make. That short little video, my editor was being really stupid and that's what made me get another one. And uh, it wouldn't let me add music, but I was like, well, if I don't add music, this is just a really boring video. So I went through like a half an hour just to edit a four five minute video just for y'all to have some music and my intro and my outro <laughs> I'm getting better with my videos definitely I'm going to order me a microphone I'm gonna order me a green screen sooner or later oh my gosh this is a pain I hate doing up this fucking bridal Can't they use a different kind of buckle? I hate this. I really do. I hate it because this horse doesn't want to stay still. 
stay. Dang it. Whoop you do that. I mean, I like they have buckles on every part of it because you can adjust it to any kind of horse, really. Still, it's a pain. Where'd the saddle pad go? Am I sitting on it? I always get, like, comment because I have said I don't like briar appaloosas but like for some reason everybody takes it seriously like i don't like appaloosas in real life and everybody's like i can't believe you don't like appaloosas like what's wrong with you and even my friend who lives next door she's like i thought you said you hated appaloosas i'm like no in real life they're adorable i just hate briar appaloosas because they have like zero detail on their spots like this horse just has like circle spots like Little Ricky Rocker has better spots because at least his are detail. He's up there. You probably can't see him, but he's up there somewhere. He's like, he's right here. I'm trying to think of a topic to talk about. I keep bringing up the fact that that we're trying to get a new car, but it's kind of a boring subject. Um, I don't know what to talk about. I hate doing up saddles on horses. I think putting a saddle on a horse IRL is easier than this. It really is. I swear. Especially because at least those horses actually stand still for you and you don't have to hold them while you're doing it. Speaking of, I don't even know if I have riding lessons today. If we do, then we're going to need to borrow somebody's car because ours isn't running. I mean, it is, but it can't go very far. I'm sick of not having lessons because no lessons I mean no go pull videos. And I could do like GoPro dogs or something, but it's not as exciting. I'm going to see if I can loop this up a couple of times so it's not like all in the way. Nah, it just looks stupid. there. I had you sitting like this because you wouldn't hold the flipping reins on the other horse. Thinking like what do I want to have you do? Like do you want to be like getting ready to get on the horse? Like maybe like you won't even reach, never mind. Maybe you're tightening her girth or fixing the stirrups or something. I don't know where to put you. I guess I'll just put you over here. trying to put the people on the saddles that's why when i found out that trick that you can do with rubber bands if you just put the rubber band around the horse and around the person's legs that was like a flipping 
miracle for me. Because whenever I did movies or anything, like, that was like my major issue. So when I found that, I was like, that is so awesome. So easy. There we go, that looks okay. Maybe you're like sitting here, like maybe showing her the jump before you jump it. My dog's dreaming, she's wagging her tail. Oh, my camera's been zoomed in this whole time, I forgot about that. Horse lover, best friend's Taylor, hello. It's a long name. I thought my name was a long name. <laughs> mm, this thing is going jacked up. There we go. That looks okay. It's like she's getting her horse to look at the jump before she jumps it. But now, like, she's over there do like doing nothing with a carrot in her hand. So I need to probably make her be doing something. Can even make her like sit on the ground or something like giving him a carrot. There we go, that's cute. She's just sitting with me giving him a carrot. She's like, what are you doing? She's mad too. I like this setup better and the sailor is just over there. Anyway, then I'm gonna end this live stream here and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.